Getting rich isn't easy for anyone, and in many cases, it almost always boils down to luck. But what if we told you there is a way for you to get rich without needing luck at all? Naval Ravikant is the CEO of AngelList. He has invested in companies like Uber, Twitter, Foursquare, and more before you even heard of them. He has, in his career, helped over 10 companies reach unicorn status, and he's one of the smartest businessmen you'll ever see in your life. Here's Naval Ravikant's advice on how to get rich without luck. Naval emphasizes in his tweet storm that your end goal should be to build wealth, not money. With wealth, you can earn even in your sleep, but you can't really do that with money. This also means that you should only use the money you have to create even more wealth. You should not try to uplift your status. This means spending money on things that matter, not the latest iPhone or Balenciaga shoes. Ethical wealth creation is possible, and even if you're among the people that despise wealth, you can still succeed. If you're stuck in a loop of essentially renting out your time, such as working a 9-to-5 job, working for hourly wages, and other things like that, you're pretty much going to remain stuck in the same position that you have always been. Instead of renting out your time, you need to own equity. Whether that equity is in some sort of business you created yourself, a company you work at, or just an asset that you feel will be worth more in the coming years. These assets can be anywhere from land, properties, to crypto assets. The main goal is to create wealth. As we've already mentioned, every successful business has given something to society. Society has a million different problems, and because of that, businesses have had to step in and provide some solutions to those problems. Your job here is to find not only a problem that society is facing, but also provide a solution to it. By the way, by problems, we don't mean any real problems, but what society wants. Something that can make people's lives easier. The best way to get started is to just take a look around yourself. In fact, you can start with yourself. How can your job be easier with the creation of some sort of product? Naval also speaks on the importance of the internet at large. The internet has opened up so many opportunities for so many people. On top of that, it has broadened the scope of existing careers. You should pick an industry that is well integrated with the internet. Pick an industry where you can benefit in the long run. You don't want to invest in, say, the fax industry in 2022, but investing in something that has long-term prospects is the way to go. One of the most important things he mentions is picking the right partner. You're not going to become a multimillionaire all by yourself, and along the line, you're going to have to make partners, whether it's individuals or companies. The quality of your business partner is extremely important. You need to pick partners who are intelligent, have the energy to sustain a business, and most importantly, you need to pick partners who have integrity. Your partner should never hold you back. That's why it's a good idea to stay away from pessimists or cynical people in general, because ideally, success should always be on your and your partner's mind. You should know how to build. This is a skill only you can teach yourself. Build partnerships, businesses, products, relationships, assets, wealth, anything. It all boils down to your ability to build. But even if you do know how to build, you can't do anything until you learn how to sell. Take a few marketing classes or courses here and there, and try to learn how to appeal to society. They want your products, they simply don't know it, and it's your job to let them know exactly why they need your products. To do that, you need specific knowledge about something. Specific knowledge is a little different from general knowledge. To achieve it, you need to have a genuine passion for whatever you're doing, whatever you're producing. You can't just become successful from general knowledge about something or just by opening up the Wikipedia page of the industry you want to enter and going through the basics. No, you have to go in-depth. You need to know all the ins and outs of the industry, and you need to eventually become the source of knowledge for other people. But here's the thing. You can't just take a course or hire a teacher to learn specific knowledge. 
You have to actually get into the subject to learn specific knowledge about it. In Naval's exact words, when specific knowledge is taught, it's through apprenticeships, not schools. Acquiring specific knowledge is the most challenging part of your whole journey, but you'll eventually come to know that it's also the most rewarding part of it all. Next, you need to take more responsibility for your business. All the risks your business takes, you should be taking them with the business. But isn't that the purpose of creating a company? To shield yourself from risk? That's correct. But you'll also notice that no self-made billionaire got to where they are right now without taking a personal risk. If you take a look at Elon Musk right now, he doesn't revolve around his brands. All of his brands revolve around him. He's not a shady background figure. He's the figurehead of all of his businesses. Because Musk was so approachable, society has put a level of trust into Musk's hands that turns everything he touches into gold. Not only is his primary source of revenue, Tesla, highly successful, but even some of his more outlandish ventures like SpaceX or The Boring Company are successful because of how much people love Elon Musk. You're not going to reach this level of success by simply lurking in the shadows. You need to be at the forefront of it all. If you look at Musk's Boring Company, it's a project that has seen a lot of ridicule with time. But at the end of the day, Elon Musk still keeps winning contracts and people still get excited about it. The reason for that is Elon Musk's personal brand is so widely loved in society that they're willing to buy anything if it's from him, for better or for worse. Musk has an unlimited amount of leverage over society, and that should be something you strive towards. You need to create leverage like that, obviously on a smaller scale at first, but eventually, you need to increase the scale as well. Media is obviously a huge part of it, but you don't need any TV ads or anything like that. What you need is social media. Build yourself, your personal brand, through social media, and the opportunities will present themselves automatically. Leverage comes from a combination of money, people, and products. To make money, first and foremost, you need to apply your specific knowledge, appeal to people, and create products. It's all interconnected, and you need to work on all of it at once. You can't really prioritize one thing over another. You can never become too learned, because there's always something more to learn, but knowledge is the ultimate goal. What sets Apple, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft apart from the rest is that they know more than anyone else in their industries. They call it R&D. We just call it knowledge. At the end of it all, you should know more about your industry than anyone else. You should be the best in the world. You can inherit all the money in the world, but if there's something you can't inherit, it's knowledge. All in all, work hard, acquire knowledge, use leverage, and become the best in the world. That's a wrap for how to get rich without getting lucky. What do you think is the key to success? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!